So what do we have here? You see a TV, right? You see a TV and you see a knife. You see a knife. What are we going to do here? Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Look at that peak brightness knit. That 1000 peak brightness knits right there. Look at that. Okay, what we're going to do is take this knife and see what our mysterious package Ta -da! Dum, 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 dum. what this mysterious package could possibly be oh my god so let's open it let's open it let's see what we got in here on this mysterious package let's see what it could be let's do this here we go. Let's open this nice and smooth. There. Let's open it some more. Here, let me get you a nice close-up. This is this is the real unbox therapy right here. This is how you do it in a slow motion. Right here, like that. There you go. There. There. Ooh. Oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, there you go. Ah, that's how you unbox the box review tech USA. And that's how you do it. And this is how you unbox therapy it like this. You go like this vertically, you go like that. You go like this vertically, like that. Keep it like that and go like this slowly. Slowly like that. See like this. Like that. Oh. Ooh, did you hear that? Oh. Oh. Now what possibly could have been here in this package? What possibly could have had? Whoa. What is this? Look. It's like a bunch of stuff in there. What possibly this could be? It's just a bunch of stuff in there. What is this mysterious package? Some of you might know this. Some of you may not know this. If you have been following my channel, every single video, you already know what this is. But if you're a first-time clicker or a first-time clickbaiter, well, you are going to be in... Denial. Mysterious denial. What this is. <gasps> Let's slowly unwrap it. Like this. Oh. There. There. Slowly. Take care of this nice box right here. Could it be Nintendo Switch? Maybe it's in there. <gasps> what if it's a Nintendo Switch? What if it's a Nintendo Switch in here? Imagine the outcry that fanboys of Nintendo would have. How dare he make all this talk about Nintendo Switch and now he buys it. How dare he? Should we forgive him or should we crucify him? <laughs> well, don't worry, Nintendo fanboys. I would never do that to you. However, this will even trigger you even more. Look at that, it's a white box. What could possibly this be? Let's slowly unwrap this. Ah. Uh, oh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh. Damn. What possibly could it be in this box? In this nice, white, shiny box. Yeah. It's so shiny and nice. Yes, and some of you would like to see my Freemasonic. Uh, yeah, there. Uh, hold on. Or was it like this, or was it like that? I don't know. There. There's your Freemasonry right there for you. All right, here. The ruler. There you go. Or look, can we do it with the shadow? There it is. There you go. There. We're going to illuminate this box. We'll get it out there. What possibly could it be in there? 
It's a white box. It cannot be a Nintendo. Hold on. It's like Christopher Walken says, it cannot be a, a box in there. It cannot be a box in there. It cannot be a Nintendo Switch. A man can be an artist in anything, a food, whatever. It's how good he is at it. In this case, we got the uh, mysterious box. You guys seen Pulp Fiction, right? Did you guys understand the whole point of what that was? That John Travolta have seen in that briefcase? And that uh, Christopher Walken showed to that kid? That was Bruce Willis' character? Do you guys know what was inside that box? Or inside that briefcase? Do you know what the hell it was? Hmm? You know what? Not Actually, there's maybe a few people that only know what that is. And of course, Quentin Tarantino is one of them. But I'm not going to tell you what it was. You have to figure that shit out yourself. Uh, by the way, great movie, Pulp Fiction. Classic. So let's see what this is. Enough of screwing around, shall we? Let's just get this open. Let's get it over with, shall we? Let's do this. Here we go. Okay, now, here's the best part. We're going to do this with a nice slow motion. Like Space Odyssey 2001. Do, do, do. And what could this possibly be? Oh my god! No, it can't be! It can't be! PlayStation Switch? Oh shit. Oh shit, let's see what this is. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's PlayStation VR. Come on, guys, you knew I was going to get PlayStation VR. I told you, if you were following my channel, you should have known that. You see, that's what I try to do on this channel, man. I try to test you. I try to see your knowledge, how well, how loyal a subscriber you are. You know, I want to see. You know? There. Now, I know that some of you knew this. I knew that the... Uh, some of my loyal subscribers, they know that I was going to be doing this unboxing. So there you go. PlayStation VR. And this thing is pretty hefty. Now you're asking, why did I get PlayStation VR? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Uh, here, let me get this out of my tripod. There's a couple of reasons why I got the PlayStation VR. Number one, I want to use it with my PlayStation 4 Pro. I want to see... The advantage it that it's going to take from PlayStation 4 Pro. Now, this is not my first time having a PlayStation VR. I had it at launch, but unfortunately, I have traded in like an idiot that I was. I have traded in my PlayStation VR for PlayStation 4 Pro. Now, now, granted, I could have sold this for a thousand dollars and made some more money off of it. But look, I needed to have the PlayStation 4 Pro, and at that time, I was kind of like. You know short on money so i really needed that playstation 4 pro and it pays off it paid off having this playstation 4 pro now i have both again but this time there's more playstation vr games and they're taking the advantage of playstation 4 pro and next to it obviously xbox one s okay this definitely uh makes me a fanboy yeah, oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you. There's a $3,000 iMac that I have right here. Right there. Right there. Here. So, yeah, that definitely makes me a fanboy. There you have it, guys. The mysterious box finally has surfaced. Now we know what it is. I'm not going to go through the whole unboxing on this. I have a video for that. I have a special video where I actually show that, where I show you how I did it. You'll have to go back in November or 
I think October. You will have to go in the October, man. You'll have to go back. Uh, let me see. You'll have to go like four months uh, back or something like that just to see it. Or three and a half months back, something like that, to go and find that video. Uh, just type in Mr. 4K Upscaler PlayStation VR Unboxing. And you will see everything in two parts and what's inside. Okay, the one negative, as I said earlier, I think on one of my first videos that I did back then in October... What I mean earlier, I mean back then when I said it, you know. What I mean by that is that on that October, when I received my first PlayStation VR, I said that uh, one critique I had about PlayStation VR is that it only was able to reproduce a certain resolution and it didn't take the advantage of uh, PlayStation 4 that much. But then I learned that it's going to take the advantage of PlayStation 4 Pro. And uh, that's why I got it now. And yes, I also did criticize... I did criticize PlayStation, uh, PlayStation VR for all these amounts of cables that it has. You know, and that brick and all that stuff. So I did criticize... See, this is where I'm not a fanboy. If you guys go back to my video... If you guys go back to my video, the original video where I did this unboxing, you will see where I clearly called, I even named the video, you can look it up, search on YouTube, Mr. 4K Upscaler, PlayStation VR, uh, cable, spider web cables, something like that. It was like uh, webs of cables, like something like that. And you will see just how much I criticized PlayStation VR for having all these ridiculous amount of cables. All right, and you will find that video there too. You can find all those videos in the past that I did, and you will see. All right, so that's the secret unboxing, mysterious unboxing. It's not a secret anymore. There you go. There you have it. Now you know that I have PlayStation VR and PlayStation 4 Pro. Uh, so we'll, I do some, I'll do some testings tomorrow on this just to see how well it works. Uh, Robinson Journey, I will try to test that. Uh, among some other games as well to see how well it works and yes i'm gonna pick up the uh, ghost recon uh, wildlands tomorrow as well all right guys have a good one take care